Hey everybody, my name is Blake and Hey everybody, my name is Blake and here's some thoughts for you on this chilly Tuesday. So last week I talked to you about Advent, what it meant, where it came from and all these things. And I learned a little bit too. So with that, I want to continue on what Advent is about and this week it is joy. So I absolutely love that this week is about joy. I mean, you can almost feel it in the air. There's Christmas parties coming up, including the youth Christmas party tomorrow night from 6.30 to 8 o'clock. <laughs> Be there. Uh, there is, you got your company Christmas parties, staff Christmas parties. You get to go hang out with your friends' Christmas parties. It's the last weekend to do shopping. It is the last week that kids are in school. It is hopefully the last week that most adults have a full week of their job. You can almost feel it. Christmas is in the air. And I feel like joy is too, because we are so excited to get to Christmas Day, especially kids. And I don't know about you, I still get excited about Christmas, even though I just sent my mom over an Amazon wish list and this is what I want. But still, it's Christmas. It's, it's exciting. You never know what you could get. Someone could always pull a surprise on you. So, with that, with all of that being said, let's focus back in on what this season is about. Let's talk about Jesus. More importantly, let's talk about a parable of Jesus. See, the word joy is used 31 times in the Gospels, at least in the NLT version, that is. It's used 31 times. And out of those 31 times, it is used 14 times in the book of Luke. Now, I love Luke. It's awesome. I love how it's almost academic. He's like, hey, I went and did all this research, and here it is. And just so you know, this is what it's about. I love Luke. So with that, let's talk about a parable from Jesus in Luke. So this is going to be Luke 15, 1 through 7. Tax collectors and other notorious sinners often came to listen to Jesus teach. This made the Pharisees and teachers of religious law complain that he was associating with such sinful people, even eating with them. So Jesus told them this story. If a man has lost a hundred sheep and one of them gets lost, what will he do? Won't he leave the 99 others in the wilderness and go and search for the one that is lost until he finds it? And when he has found it, he will joyfully carry it home on his shoulders. When he arrives, he will call together his friends and neighbors saying, Rejoice with me because I have found my lost sheep. In the same way, there's more joy in heaven over one lost sinner who repents and returns to God than over 99 others who are righteous and haven't strayed away. Now, I don't know about you, but that gives me more than joy. That gives me hope and peace and love. That is what the four different themes of Advent here, but let's focus on joy here for a second. See, in Greek, joy means a lot of different things. And one of the definitions I found and truly love this is joy is an inner gladness, a deep seated pleasure is at a depth of assurance and confidence that ignites a cheerful heart. I just love that. Absolutely do. Because when I run away from God, when I feel like I'm so far away, when I feel like I cannot come back, God's already chasing after me. He's already recklessly chasing after me. Because He is ready to welcome you, to welcome me once again, even though we are broken and we are a very broken people. We are imperfect people. We're humans after all. That even though because of this, God is recklessly charging after us. He has reckless love. So this holiday season, as you are thinking about what this is really about, instead of Santa and Christmas presents and all that stuff. When you boil it down and you see we're talking about Jesus here, talking about God, that I hope you find that joy in your own heart, that it is a assurance of confidence that ignites a cheerful heart. That is what I hope for you this Christmas season, that through joy we can have this cheerful heart and be thankful and love one another. So, with that, I hope to see you next week.